Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel Aware Science is all about trying to learn various concepts over the science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding fine trending hashtags. The difficulty level of this question is medium and I am going to share the SQL schema as well as the panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads, we are given a table called tweets with four different columns, user id, tweet id, tweet date and tweet. Tweet id is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table contains user id, tweet id, tweet date and tweet. We are asked to write a solution to find the top three trending hashtags in February of 2024. Each tweet only contains one hashtag. Okay. Return the result table ordered by the count of the hashtag as well as the hashtag in descending order. Okay. Let's go through this example. So here we need in February of 2024, what all top three hashtags are trending. So everything is February of 2024 in this particular example. So let's look at, okay. So there is one happy day another happy day and then happy day so there are three different happy days and if you count other ones so work life is only once tech life is twice nature is once so happy day and tech life are obviously going to be in the output we need top three and then out of work life and nature what comes later in the dictionary work life right because work life starts with w and nature starts with n and we want it by descending order of ha hashtag as well so we have happy day, take life and work life and their respective count. So to solve this question, what we basically need to do is from this tweet, we need to match regular expressions that, hey, after a hashtag, try to get me everything so that I know, okay, what all hashtags are being trending in February of 2024. Okay. So to solve this question, let's firstly try to extract the hashtags. So from this table called tweets, we are only concerned about those rows where the tweet is made in February of 2024. So this is day, month and year. So we need to format this. So date format, basically take the tweet date and change it to only year and month format. And this should be equal to 2024 02. So February of 2024, we have made sure. Then what we are basically doing is let's try to extract the hashtags. Now we know that these, these are basically strings, right? If you look at the tweet column, it's a variable character. That is, it's a string. So whenever we are dealing with or we want to extract something out of a string, we usually use the substring. But in substring, the problem is you give a string and then you specify, okay, go at a particular position and start extracting certain length of the characters. For example, go at, let's say, index 5. So index 5 is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So go at this place and let's say extract three characters. So it will extract i and z out of it. So you cannot use that here why because here you can even say that okay go to the hashtag part and then extract how much do you know what is the length of each of the hashtags it will be different right so in that case you need to match a pattern so regexp substring is a function which helps you do that so what you can do is regular expression substring and then what you can do is you can try to match a pattern in a string so in the tweet column, you need to match a pattern. Now, obviously, you need to start with a hashtag. So the pattern should start with a hashtag. Now, some of you might be having a question like, why do we not write a backslash hashtag? Okay, let me direct you to a very good article from NTU where it has everything you possibly need to know about regular expressions. So backslash is used to suppress the special meaning of a character. And there are only 14 characters that have a special meaning in regex. For example, dot or period plus asterisk, question mark, caret sign, dollar, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, open and close square brackets, open and close curly brackets, pipe sign and the backslash. So you do not see hashtag here, right? So that is why you do not need a backslash to suppress the special meaning. So let me go back. Okay, so hashtag and then what you need is you need. So these hashtags can be either small case characters, uppercase characters or sometimes even numbers as well. So in square brackets, you need to write, okay, it can go from A to Z small case or A to Z uppercase or 0 to 9. Sometimes people also include numbers in the hashtag. Close this and then 
plus sign what does this plus sign mean i was just talking about special characters right so if you go back here plus sign has a special meaning what does this mean it means in this particular range that you have provided from a to z small case a to z capital case and then zero to nine if you find one or more match then keep them so basically if i go ahead here let's let's look at row number one so it says okay do we have a hashtag yes hashtag then h belongs to the range of a capital a to z a p p y all belongs to small case capital d belongs to the capital case a to z a y also belongs to small case a to z so it will extract this entire thing in this particular case here it will start with hashtags matches everything in the range and then after this you have a space do you have a space in this no right so it will only extract the hashtag part and this is how it will work so once you extract a pattern right so with substring you are extracting a substring by giving a specific position and a length here you are trying to match a pattern in the string so this should be aliased as hashtag so let me alias this as hashtag i'm just trying to extract the hashtag right now so let me go ahead and run this let's see if we are able to extract the hashtags correctly or not so if you look at it you have uh, if i just go here so if from this happy day from this happy day work life tech life etc right so you are extracting everything correctly now what you need is you want the top trendings so basically you need to group by these extracted hashtags and count how many times they appear in february of 2024 so you need to go ahead and do group by let me show you a shortcut here so if you go conventionally in here you need to write group by this entire thing right so this entire thing you need to write here because that is how sql is going to know that okay you need to group by firstly extract a pattern from the tweet column and then you group by right but you do not need to do that exactly so here what is this this is the first column that you are returning in the select so if you just go ahead and do group by one it is automatically going to tell sql that hey group by the first column that you are basically returning right so it will automatically do this so after hashtag we need to count as well right so basically count star is going to give you okay these are the counts of hashtag let me just realize this and demonstrate this so as hashtag count let me just run this let's care about ordering and everything else later so now if you look at it here you have this right hashtags happy day occurs thrice work life occurs once nature once and tech life twice right so you have this so you see how this works so you do not have to write this entire thing every time you can just simply go ahead and use this shortcut same thing you can do with order by as well so you need to order by the count of hashtags which is going to be the second column this is the first column this is the second column so firstly you need to order by the count of hashtags so hashtag counts instead of writing hashtag count you can write order by two in descending manner and then you also need to order by hashtag which is the first column so one in descending manner as well let me go ahead and run this and let's show you if this works or not okay so if you look at this this is sorted right but in the question it says only top three so you need to limit this so limit this to top three let me go ahead and run this let's see what to get in our output so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases or not so if you look at it it passes all the test cases and is accepted so yeah this is how we do it very tricky question what you basically had to do was firstly you need to make sure that we are only concerned about february of 2024 then we learned about the difference between the substring and the regexp substring basically whenever you want to match a pattern in the string you need to use reg regular expression substring then we learned about why we do not need to use a backslash in front of hashtags we learned about special characters then what does plus signify what does this all this signify and then we also learned a shortcut where you do not have to explicitly write the name of the columns to group or order you can simply use one two three etc based on the position of the column in the select clause remember that this position is based on the select clause so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video